Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, we'll proceed with graphing hyperbola with our transverse axis now is parallel to y axis. So let's see the graph here. So now this is the graph of the hyperbola with transverse axis parallel to your y axis. So this graph will be a graph of open up and also open down. So this is the graph with your transverse axis parallel to your y axis. So let's see the usual point that we will see first, which is your center. So in the middle here, this is your center with the coordinate of HK. So the center is placed on the transverse axis here. And you can see that the transverse axis here is parallel to your y axis. Since this line is your transverse axis, therefore the opposite line here, the perpendicular to it, this is your conjugate axis. So after we found the center point, we can also find our vertices. So this is the point of vertices where you cut through your transverse axis. So, let's name this it's V1 and this is your V2. So, let us see here, when the coordinate of HK is on the center, therefore, the coordinate of V1, your Y coordinate have moved up. Your X coordinate doesn't change, therefore, your X coordinate stays at the point H. However, for K, you have go up as much as a unit. Let me write here, the distance from center to your vertices is a unit. Therefore, the coordinate of V1 is H, K plus A. How about for V2 here? H doesn't change, you are still at the same X coordinate H. However, for the point K, you have go down as much as distance A. Therefore, the coordinate will be H, K minus A. So, we finish looking at the point of vertices. The next point is the point of foci. So, you'll have a foci point. So, focus is always in front of your vertex. So, let me write here your focus here. This is one foci, this is another foci. So let's name it. This is F1. Let's name this as F2. Let me show you that the distance between your center and foci, this is C. And center and your foci, this is C. Let's look at the coordinate right now. So as usual, H doesn't change. So, your X coordinate is still H. However, your Y coordinate have changed. You have to go up as much as C distance. So, the coordinate will be H, K plus C. Now, let us see the coordinate for F2 here. X coordinate doesn't change. You are still at the same X coordinate H. However, the Y coordinate have go down as much as C distance. So, the coordinate will be K minus C for your Y coordinate. Therefore, F2 here is H, K minus C. So, now we have finished looking in details on the coordinate of center, vertices, and also foci. Next, let us see the coordinate of our co-vertices. So, your co-vertices should be here. Another point is here. So the distance between the center and the co-vertices is B. So let us write here as B. After we know the coordinate of our co-vertices here, next step is we need to find what is our asymptote line. So now let's find out where is our asymptote line. So from your vertex, let's go to the left as much as distance B, and let's go to the right as much as distance B. So let's draw another one 
from our V2 here as much as distance B on your left hand side and also on your right hand side. So now connect these two edges here and then you are ready now to find your asymptote. So let's look here. Let's connect these two edges here and make sure you go through the point of center. So let's do this here. After you're done, extend it outside the box. So you are done with the first asymptote. Let's do the second asymptote. So connect these two edges here. Make sure when you connect them, you go through the point of center. Then extend it outside of the box. So now when you've done this, you are ready to graph our hyperbola. So this asymptote here, it control the opening of our hyperbola because the hyperbola will approach the asymptote but will never touch the asymptote line. Next, let us see the equation of the asymptotes. So let us focus on this positive slope here. So draw a straight line representing your asymptote. So how to find the equation of asymptote here? Therefore, let us draw equation of a linear line. y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. So let us represent our y1 with k and let's represent our x1 as h. Therefore, our equation will be y minus k equal to m in bracket x minus h. Let us see how about your slope here, the m part. Okay, so let's write the equation. So from the straight line, you can make a triangle. So this part here is difference of y, this part here is difference of x. Therefore, we can write the equation of slope, which is the difference of y, divide difference of x. Now, let's see the equation of this slope here. So focus on this triangle. Okay, so this is difference of y, which is a, and this is difference of x which is B. Therefore, your M now will be equal to A over B. So now let's conclude our equation of asymptote. It is Y minus K equal to A over B in bracket X minus H. So that is the equation for the asymptote with positive slope. How about the asymptote with a negative slope here? For the negative asymptote, let us just add the negative sign in front of our slope. Therefore, generally, the equation of asymptote will have plus minus. Therefore, this is the equation of our asymptote. Y minus K equal to plus minus A over B in bracket X minus H. Let us rewrite here the equation of the positive slope of your asymptote. So for positive slope, it is y minus k equal to a over b x minus h. Let's write now equation of the asymptote for negative slope. It is y minus k equal to negative a over b in bracket x minus h. So now we have finished discussing the hyperbola with transverse axis parallel to y axis. Let us recap. This is your transverse axis. Now it is parallel to your y axis. So you have a center in the middle here, which is center here is the coordinate of h, k. So you can see at the summary part here. 
Next, let's see your vertices. So your vertices is at this point here where the graph cuts through your transverse axis. So we can name our vertices. The coordinate is H, K plus A. Another one is H, K minus A. You can see here in the summary part. Next, let's look at our foci. So we have our foci here. So the point of foci, F1 is H, K plus C. And another one for F2 is H, K minus C. So this is a summary here. And last but not least, our asymptote line. So the general equation is y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. Let us rewrite our y1 as k, our x1 as h. And now m is unknown. Let us use the formula for slope, which is m is difference of y divide difference of x. So our difference of y here is a. Our difference of x here is b. So let us just substitute here a over b. We should have plus and minus sign because we want to cater both of the asymptote for the positive slope here, which is your m is positive, and also for the negative slope here, which your m now is negative. So this is the summary part of your asymptote. So that's the end of the hyperbola graph for transverse axis parallel to your y axis. Let's meet in another video after this, the continuation where I will show you the equation of hyperbola. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.